Neuroplasticity is one of my favorite words in the entire world. And it simply means that the brain can be rewired or changed. Why am I here in Colombia? Because it's about knowing. I wanted to come to Semana Education to talk about something as important as this. Because how could we talk about creating education opportunities for everyone when we're not talking about the brain? When we're not looking at the limitation that could be right under our own eyes? when the brain isn't using the information accurately, that then alters how they experience the world. Experiences are processed in the mind. And so you have someone with an altered brain experience then taking it into the mind, and the mind then creates limitations. I can't do this, this is hard for me, I'm frustrated, I'm overwhelmed, I can't handle my life, uh, I'm stressed, I'm anxious, I'm worried, and so the psychological effects of having a processing disorder is a spillover. And additionally to working with the using neuroplasticity to affect the physiology of the mind, we also use neuroplasticity to support changes in the psychology of the mind. People come to us for a myriad of reasons. So for those coming to us for physiological problems, we use the concept of neuroplasticity to rewire how their brains are, are processing information. People with processing disorders range from having challenges with learning issues, attention issues, developmental delays, dyslexia, autistic spectrum disorder, a wide range of these, including obsessive compulsive disorder, uh, uh, developmental disorders. We have a lot of these auditory processing disorders that come under the umbrella of what we would call a larger brain processing disorder. Many of the kids who come to us or who are challenged with processing disorders really have a brain issue. The challenge is that most people believe that learning begins at the cortex. That is a fallacy. Learning actually ends at the cortex. When we're thinking about a breakdown in communication between and within the structures of the brain, ultimately what we're talking about is where in the brain is the problem. Depending upon where the breakdown is, you're gonna need different interventions. Then we can use neuroplasticity to rewire that specific structure of the brain. Neuroplasticity says yes, the brain can change, but it requires specificity, frequency, consistency of intervention. Medication has its place. So the question isn't, yes medication or no medication. It really is actually when medication. And unfortunately, we have so many people just knee-jerking and reacting quickly towards medication because we put this label on it. Learning problem, attention problem, medication. I've had couples come to me where the wife wants to be a homebody because she wants to stay in her safe world and the husband wants to go out and have dinners and go to cocktail parties and it creates a conflict in the marriage. So it's not just an issue of a child. This is, these are issues that affect people across the lifespan and the challenge of it is most people don't even know that it exists, yet one in 25 live with it. We got an iPhone 10 with an iOS 3 operating system. It's not connecting. And so here I have this beautiful looking phone not doing the job. Three weeks is what it took because it takes 21 days to create or break a new habit. That's not me. That's neuroscience talking to you. That's the power of neuroplasticity.